All right, uh, so welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, we're taking a look at the basics of vectors. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, dot product. Uh, mathematicians love precise definitions, so here's the precise definition of the dot product. It is the real number given by adding together the product of corresponding coordinates of two vectors. That sounds kind of confusing, but when we break it down, it's going to be really simple. Now, pay close attention. It's going to be hard to see what I do here um, with the little dot, but this is going to be the uh, notation of dot product. So you may have seen uh, the dot used in multiplication before. You need to be really careful when you're working with vectors and uh, using that dot for multiplication because uh, it's actually a dot product symbol when you're looking at vectors. So u dot v u1 u2 dot v1 v2 and all you need to do it's almost like distributing but not quite because you don't carry over everything. You multiply u1 times u2 and then add, <coughs> excuse me, u1 times v1 and then add to that u2 times v2. Now an interesting result of this dot product is that uh, this is also going to be the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of the uh, theta, with theta being the uh, angle between the two vectors. So I've used u, uh, the uh, bars here to um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, denote the magnitude of u and the magnitude of v, which you can see in another video, um, and then times cosine theta, where theta is the angle between the two vectors. Um, so we know that that's the dot product in two space. Very similar in three space. We'll take a look with uh, vectors x uh, equals x1, x2, x3, y equals y1, y2, y3. You'll see uh, x dot y, very similar to what we got in our first one. So the result, uh, again, a scalar x1, y1 plus x2, y2 plus x3, y3. Uh, again, the magnitude, it's also equal to the magnitude of x times the magnitude of y times the cosine, uh, cosine of the theta, which is the angle between them. Um, so let's take a look at this dot product for um, some real examples, just some uh, actual numbered vectors so you can see uh, how we actually add them. So we have 1 comma 5 dot 4 comma negative 3. Which is 1 times 4 plus 5 times negative 3, which is 4 plus negative 15, negative 11. So now let's take a look at uh, vectors that are perpendicular to each other. It's kind of an interesting result. Two comma negative one dotted with negative one, or excuse me, two comma one dotted with negative one comma two. And you're going to have 2, negative 1, it's negative 2, 1, 2, this is going to be 0. <coughs> so the dot product of uh, perpendicular vectors is going to be 0. Now uh, we can see that um, perpendicular uh, vectors, the angle between them is going to be 90 degrees. Makes a lot of sense that when you have perpendicular vectors, you can't have a vector with no magnitude. So the cosine of theta must be 0. Well, cosine of theta theta is 90 degrees, that's zero, makes sense that it follows that um, the dot product of perpendicular vectors is going to be zero. <laughs> 